Hello everyone. Good morning. Happy Monday. Hi, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Can you believe we've almost finished the semester? We're beginning week 15. We've got two more weeks. And so we're getting close to completing the semester. Hope everything is going well for you guys. Hope you are keeping up with your studies, with your commitments. Today we're going to we're going to practice first uh, listening. Uh, we're going to do a TOEFL listening review, and then we're going to be talking about e-portfolios. That's what I have uh, scheduled for today. Uh, we'll talk more about that in the second half of today's class after we finish the review. Uh, I wanted to try something different. You'll notice uh, if you were online over the weekend, yesterday especially, um, I made available the audio and the test questions. And um, I'm going to be asking, uh, I'm curious how you guys interacted with that information, if you had a chance to look at it. I'm going to ask after we complete the review, for you to complete a very short survey asking questions about if you listen to the audio or not. Uh, this is just for informational purposes, just for uh, for me, because I'm curious. I'm always curious about what strategies, how you guys interact with different parts of the content for the class. So um, I'll be sharing this also with all of you as well. The results of the very short survey, it's like four items four or five items is very quick, probably take us five minutes at the most to complete, but I will share the results with you so that you can see also as a group, the different strategies that you and or your classmates uh, chose as, as a group. But um, we'll do that after we complete the online review. Uh, the Regarding grades, the last two performances or the last two activities, uh, I'm still waiting to upload the grades, so don't be concerned if you don't see grades for the last two performances. Um, I still need to upload also last week's podcast. So uh, don't be concerned if you don't see a grade for that. If there are any other grades, though, that I still need to review or that you have questions about, let me know. Send me a chat. But again... Um, I'm still uploading. I haven't uploaded grades yet for the last couple of performances. We'll talk more about uh, our final grades as we get closer to the end of the semester. Um, we'll talk about that this week, in fact. But yeah, let me know about grades. If there are, are any other grades that are pending, that maybe you changed, uh, continue, please, with your podcast. I can't stress enough, I think, the importance of you each week doing a performance, or doing your podcast, sorry. Your uh, podcast episodes are really important because they give you an opportunity to discuss and explore information that you're interested in. And so again, really listen to as many podcasts as possible. Try to get into those routines. If anything, a prope should be about helping you build routines that will continue throughout your uh, throughout the BA as you're increasing your proficiency skills, really try to find those routines that help you become a better communicator. Okay, so uh, really try to dedicate some time to yourself that you can spend listening as much as possible and reading. Really, listening and reading are the two skills that I would really focus on a lot this first year in prope. Right, so we've got a few minutes here. Let me um, share with you the link to the form. Give me one second here. And everyone should have the audio available. It's been in the temp folder since yesterday. So if you haven't already, go ahead and download the audio. If you if it works better for you to uh, listen to the audio on your computer. So go ahead and take this time 
to download that file. We get to see. All right, I'm going to share the link with you for today's TOEFL listening. These, this TOEFL listening for today, it's the same. They're the same questions, but it's a different link. Okay, so don't use any of the prior links from either this morning or the link from yesterday. This is a new link for for today's uh, TOEFL review. So let me paste that here. All right, so we've got a few minutes. Are, are there any questions, any comments, or any topics you'd like to share before we get started uh, at 8.15? 8, 8 uh, for example, could you ask for or use it uh, Friday about fun and funny? And actually, I had that, that question too. And, okay, yeah, we can. What did you find example, out? Mm -hmm. When you fun is um, when you have a, a good time. Uh, yeah, when you have a good time and uh, funny is when something makes you love. Laugh. Uh, can you say that again, Adan? The second part, the funny. What? How did you define funny? Uh, when something is funny, uh, something. Uh, makes you laugh. All right. Um, okay. Does anyone else have anything else to add to Adan's comment or definition? No, I found the same that Adan. All right. Or anyone else have an example of of the two the differences between the two? Yes, I, I honestly used to say uh, funny for almost everything, I think. But, yeah. And I, and actually, I knew that information, but uh, like I, I didn't care or, or I wasn't aware about the difference. Yeah, it's a common mistake. Think about, um, think about the characteristics of a person that would distinguish the person between fun being fun and being funny can anyone provide some examples of maybe personal characteristics and think of you know people in your own lives that you would classify as fun versus funny can you describe their characteristics Three pictures. Mm -hmm. go ahead funny funny is when you describe something it can be a person and it can be um yeah i think and fun is is the when you say have fun. So it's like fun is not describing you. Fun is something that is this like you know, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Right. So can you think of like you know, think about somebody that you would classify as fun, someone in your life that you would classify as funny. Can you describe maybe their their person the way they are, right, or their characteristics, or their personality, or can you can you describe in a way that you would say, okay, these types, this description of this person makes this person fun, right, and maybe this other person, this description of how they are, their characteristics classify them as funny. Any. Can you think of some personal characteristics or personality traits that you could uh, describe? Mm, this person uh, doesn't doesn't care what people say about what they do, even if the things can, it can be embarrassed. Uh, another thing is they're laughing all the time for anything. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I okay. Guess. Yeah, it may, it's <laughs> kind of hard, right? It might be kind of difficult to think, okay, how can I describe? All right, anyone else uh, have some ideas they want to share? 
uh, someone funny. I think it's someone who who makes or who says who tell um, jokes, for example. Mm -hmm. Someone funny. And but I don't have uh, I don't have any idea about someone who is fun. Maybe someone who enjoy who enjoys um, doing something. Uh, maybe that that person is fun. But I'm not sure. Yeah, so I I always think of someone who tells jokes that makes you laugh, right? As being funny. They're comedic, right? They're funny. So they're they're doing funny things, right? So maybe it's the you know, uh the way they walk, the way they talk, sometimes maybe it's but it's not it's always in a it's a good in a good way, right? You're th something that you enjoy from someone else and funny being someone who's telling jokes and making you laugh, right? Basically, when they make you laugh, they're funny. Now, a person who's fun is someone that you enjoy their company. And so it may be someone who has a really good personality, maybe because of their uh, they're they're smart, they're outgoing, right? This term outgoing. So they're easy to talk to. And and they like to do fun things. They like to go uh, to, you know, maybe they like to go to the club. They like to dance. They like to go out and have fun at parties. They like to go, uh, things that you would enjoy, they like to, they enjoy. So, you know, fun things, right, could be if you enjoy going to the museum and your friend likes to go to the museum, then you might see that person as being fun because you enjoy the same things that that person enjoys. A person might be, one person might be fun for one person, right, but not for another. So it's really looking at things that you have in common. So fun things, this person is fun because you have things in common that you enjoy doing together. Whereas funny is a little bit different, right? You could you could have there might be somebody in your life who's really funny that makes you laugh, but maybe they're not really fun in the sense that you don't enjoy maybe the same things that they enjoy or that they view as fun. All right? Does that make sense? The difference is slightly different. Those two adjectives. Yeah. Same. So. Yeah. Yeah, so again, I think fun is being things that you have in common that you enjoy, that you like to do, and it's very subjective. Well, they're both subjective, but it's more something in common with that person, things that you like to do that you think are fun, they like to do as well. And so you would then probably see that person as being fun because they like the same things as you do. And, and I, I was talking about uh, phrasal verb phrase, uh, and for example, uh, when when you say get down, can I say get down, uh, like or enjoying something when you let's get like, down. I get down <laughs> the music or get down the yeah. Dance. I don't know. That's kind of a um, let's get down. That's kind of a almost like from the seventies type of uh, you know a lot of idiomatic expressions are very representative sometimes of certain times in history. And I remember thinking, like, get down. Let's get down. It's it's like groovy, right? These are like 70 terms like that. Let's get down and it's funky, right? And all these weird, these terms that are, are very representative of maybe in the 70s that would be kind of not as used as much uh, these days, right? But yeah, let's get down. Get down, that means let's go have fun, okay. right? Let's go ahead. Let's get down. Let's go down to the club and let's get down. Let's just go have fun. Let's party. It's like, let's party. It would be like saying okay. that. Let's party. Let's get down. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's it's, a good phrasal verb. Get down. There's a song like, get down on it. Dun, 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 get down on it. Right? So, right. That comes from that term, get down. And that's like a 70s okay. uh, hit. <laughs> Back in the day. Yeah. All right, guys. Cool. We'll talk. We can talk more about that if you want. Anything else? You, we, if any other topics? If there are some words that you guys come across and you want to ask, you know, feel free to jump in and 
during class and and uh, we can talk about any vocabulary words or phrases or idiomatic expressions that you find uh, that you're asking about that you're not sure about. All right, guys, don't want to uh, get in. I want to go ahead and jump into our uh, review. We'll get back to talking vocabulary if you want when uh, after today's review. So go ahead and open up in your browser the online review. Let me know. If, if someone could just confirm that you can access the review, just so I know we're ready to yes. go. Yes, okay. All right, let me share my screen and try to get the audio going here, and we'll go ahead and begin. Again, I highly recommend that you take notes. If you've, uh, hopefully, with the practice and taking notes, this will help you retain some of the information. All right, here we go, guys. All right, go ahead and make sure all of the questions have been answered and go ahead and submit. Make sure you submit before 9.15. I think it closes at 9.15, so uh, make sure that you submit your responses at this time. And I'm gonna go ahead and explain. Uh, let me pull up here. All right, I've got a short survey that I mentioned earlier that I'd like for you guys to take um, an answer, take a look at and answer the questions. I'm gonna go ahead and share the link in chat and give you a few minutes. It's very short, it's about four or five questions. Uh, go ahead, please, at this time, open up this form now and answer a few questions about, about today's TOEFL. A review. When, once you guys have uh, completed the uh, the uh, survey, the uh, online survey, uh, if you could just let me know, just leave a comment in the chat, so I have a kind of an idea. Once you've completed, all right. Looks like uh, some folks are finishing. Please uh, let me know once you've completed it, uh, completed the survey, just so I kind of have an idea how many of you have completed it. Um, we'll wait just a, just a minute or so more. Meanwhile, as if you as you are finishing, go ahead and open up the Notion page for today if you haven't done so already. Uh, it looks like this. I'm sharing my screen now, so it. Hopefully you can see my screen. Go ahead and open this up. Uh, it's going to in include the information that we're going to be doing for the rest of today in class. Great. Looks like uh, almost everyone is finished taking the survey. So this week I want to try something different, as I mentioned before, giving you guys some exposure, some opportunities to uh, get familiar with the audio and the quest, the test questions before we do it in class. So this week, we're going to continue on Wednesday and on Friday to do something similar that we did today. And in the Notion page, under Tasks, I have a link to a YouTube channel where I'm getting the TOEFL questions and the audios. So on Wednesday, we're going to listen to the TOEFL listening number 12. On Friday, we're going to listen to TOEFL listening 13. Today was listening 11. So you can find listening uh, TOEFL listening 12 and TOEFL listening 13 in this YouTube channel. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to give you an opportunity, a chance to listen to the audio beforehand. Now, this may not be ideal for everyone. This depends on um, how, I think part of it depends on how well you're doing on, on the TOEFL listening. If, for example, you're uh, doing, and when I say well, I'm, I'm going to say if you're getting at least 50% of the questions correct, right, you might, it might be best for you not to listen to the audios beforehand and continue practicing as you're doing to try to improve, uh, try to uh, pra practice your note-taking 
while you're listening, right? If you're uh, if you're having issues really understanding the audio and, and answering the questions, and let's say that you're scoring less than fifty percent, then you might want to listen to the audios beforehand. But be very systematic about how you practice, how you access this, right? You could you could just listen to the audio and without the video and just listen to the audio and when they ask questions, write out the answer and then go back and then answer the questions themselves and compare the question options with what you wrote out. You can, uh, you know, there are many different ways that you can go about doing this. Each of the audios has the answers in the, uh, in the notes, in the uh, description section of the, the YouTube video. But I would try to go through and answer first without checking the answers, and then check your answers with what you have, and and see how you do. Now, again, this is optional, of course. You don't have to check out this uh, information, but... Uh, this is what uh, I'd like to do this week, is to give you some additional time and exposure with these audios. Here is how I'm going to grade the listening section of, of this course, okay? The listening section is 40% um, is of your grade, okay? It's a big percentage. Now, the way I want to do this is... You've received some grades, right? In fact, you are receiving your grades instantly when you complete the um, when you complete the listening. The way that I'm grading is if you get 50% or higher, you get full credit. If you get 50% from the scores, 50% of the questions correct, you get you'll get full credit or the full 40% of, of your grade will be, it will, will be assigned to this, to the listening. Now, if you score less than 50, then your grade will, will change. And let me, I didn't pull this up beforehand, but I'm going to go ahead and share this with you now so that we can explain how we're going to grade this. All right, so let me pull this up here. Okay. All right. So let me copy and paste this. I don't know if this will work. Let me try this at the bottom. Oops. All right. Uh, well, okay. Wasn't exactly what I expected, but I think this will work. All right. So I just copied and pasted a table in uh, in Notion in the Notion page. So if you get fifty percent or higher, you get a ten. If you score a 40 to 49, you get a 9. 35 to 39, you get an 8. 30% to 34%, and these are all percentages. 30 to 34%, a 7. And then 25 and less, or 29 and less will be 6 and on down. So you see here the breakdown by percentage points. All right? So this is how I'm planning on scoring. Now, how what what exam am I going to score? Now, the reason I've been trying to give you grades throughout up until now is to give you an idea where you are. If you're scoring, you know, down in if you're getting a, a six, a five, a four, the reason I'm giving you a grade up to this point was so that you know if you need more practice if you need to practice more or not i mean maybe it's obvious that you need to maybe you know intuitively that you need to but 
Uh, certainly, if you're scoring below seven, you need additional practice. And and I would suggest, again, everyone try to get as much listening practice as possible, right? But for grade purposes, right, this is how I've been grading so far. For listening, since listening, as all of you have been getting better at listening, right, throughout the semester, for me, it's not fair for, to grade you at the beginning of the semester when you're starting out and you're, 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 improve, you're, you're bound to improve over time. So the way that I'm going to grade listening next Friday, next Friday is going to be our last day in class, December 11th. So next Friday, December 11th, we're going to have an, a TOEFL review just like what we've been doing. Right, exactly the same way for a grade. And this grade that you're going to receive next Friday, right, will be the grade that you receive for your listening percentage for the class. Now, if you're concerned about the one one exam, the one grade, right, that you uh, receive a grade on, right, if you're concerned and let's say that you get a grade that you're not happy with from that next Friday's application. The following week, let me open up my calendar here. All right, so December 11th will be the final TOEFL review. This will be the one grade that you're going to receive for the listening percentage, the listening category for the grade, for the course. The following week is exams week. This is starting, let me see here. So this would be starting the 14th, December 14th, that week. So probably December 14th, we can set up the date here. Um, I will offer any makeup test. If anyone wants to redo the TOEFL on the 14th, we'll schedule it the same time, 8 o'clock in the morning, for another TOEFL review. Now, this is going to be a different test. It's going to be, it won't be the same test as the test that you took on December 11th, but it will be a different test on the 14th. Right? And I will plan, I will plan on the 14th, 16th, and 18th, if there are anyone that wants an additional three times to take the the uh, the listening I will I will offer that to you if you want it if anybody's want and one of the first things I'll ask after the uh, December 11th when we finish the class when we finish uh, the last exam I will ask how many of you want to redo how many how many of you want another opportunity at the TOEFL review Right, and if there are any, if anyone's interested, then I'll schedule it for the 14th. After the 14th, and I'll take the highest score. Right, if you get a higher score on the 14th than you did on the 11th, I'll take it. If you got a higher score on the 11th than on the 14th, I'll take the 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 grade on the 11th. After the 14th, I'll ask the same question. Anybody want to retake it again? If anybody says yes, I'll I'll offer it again on the 16th, and I'll do the same on the 18th, as long as those who if anyone is interested. The 18th will be the last time. Um, there'll be four opportunities to review the TOEFL, uh, uh, the TOEFL's the review, the score, the quiz, the exam, whatever you want to call it. Um, this, the audios are going to be coming from this, the link that I shared here in the, in the Notion page. Now, I'm not going to tell you which audio it's going to be. Okay? Um, I'm telling you what audios this week we're going to practice. We're going to review uh, listening number 12 and listening number 13, but I won't mention uh, the which one we'll do. Right? But this is how we'll do the listening section because, again, I want to score you on your progress that you've made throughout the semester and not penalize anyone for scores that you achieved at the beginning of the semester. All right, so 
I've provided a lot of information here. Uh, is it clear what we're doing with the TOEFL this week and also for the final grade that you're going to receive, the 40% grade that you're going to receive for listening? Are there any questions about, about what I'm talking about here? No, teacher. No, teacher. And again, these are the percentages here, right? This is what I'll, I'll go by here. So again, you all of you should know kind of where you're at. You've received a lot of grades over the semester, and, and that was the purpose. The purpose was to inform you, okay, how am I doing with the listening? And so that, I hope, will guide you now this week and next week. I, I would spend so as much time as I possibly could this week and next week going to this website, not only reviewing the audios number 12 and number 13 for this week, but any of the other audios, as many as you possibly can, as many audios and checking the questions and, and testing yourself as you, as you can in preparation for next Friday's recording. Next, next week, I'm not planning on any TOEFL um, reviews except for on Friday, the last day of class, the final uh, review there. All right. So that's kind of, I wanted to go ahead and explain that. And if anyone has any questions that, that comes up after class, make sure that you uh, reach out to me so that you're clear on, you know, what, how much you need to spend, how much time you need to spend for, for listening. All right. Um, it's 926. We still have a few minutes. Um, let me start by discussing what I'd like to do for this week and next week in terms of speaking. Um, we'll talk about different topics, but I, I want to spend some time these last two weeks really th looking at our e-portfolios. And in this sheet, I've linked the page to our e-portfolio. And I want to make sure that I have everyone's e-portfolio first of all. So make sure that your name is on this list. And if your name is not on this list, please leave a comment with the, the hyperlink to your public e-portfolio so that I can add you to this table. Okay, so please make sure that that your name not only appears, but I, that also I have the correct link. Some of you might have changed your mind, and that's fine. If you ended up you know, going with a different platform, that's fine. Just let me know so that I can update this table. The idea here that we can all see each other's e-portfolios. That's, that's the, the main the main goal here. So what I'd like to do, um, and I'll go ahead and leave instructions, and tomorrow in class we can start working in our teams about thinking about the goals of your, your, your professional goals. I want you to be thinking about what your intentions are, what your goals are professionally. What kind of, um, you know, what kind of job would you like? What would be your ideal job? Would it be working uh, with kids, teaching small kids how to learn English? Would it be teaching adults? Would it be teaching abroad? Or would it be like teaching some place here in Mexico? What would be your ideal job? Maybe it's not even teaching. Maybe it's translation. Maybe it's research. Something else that's, uh, that would use utilize your skills from this BA. Okay, it doesn't matter what, what it is, but think about your individual goals. And what I'd like to do on uh, Tuesday, tomorrow, because, again, I don't want to get into this right now since we're almost at the end of the class, but I want you to, let me go back to my page here. The teams for this week I've uploaded here so you can access your teams. There are a total of 10 teams. Go ahead and open it up here. There are 10 teams. 
So each team, team one will be in group one and the channel, the group one channel and Microsoft Teams and so on. And so make sure that you can find your name. Of course, if, I, if your name doesn't appear in this list, please make sure you let me know. But these will be the teams that I'd like to work on this or work in this week. So tomorrow what we'll do is we'll start off with discussing with our teammates. First, in fact, let me back up. Tomorrow we'll start our, our whole group discussion first about the essential question. The essential question for this week, how can I personalize my personal and professional e-portfolio that will allow me to organize the way I share what I know, what I can do, in my ethics during my academic studies and beyond. I want us to think about how you can present an online space to share what you know, what you can do, and your ethics, your values, right? Your, that really shows your attitude as a learner and as a professional. So this is the idea for for this week and tomorrow we'll talk as a group we'll, we'll brainstorm we'll put get some ideas together i want to hear from you guys about what you're thinking and and then we'll break into our groups where you'll talk in your small groups more specifically about this question and we'll talk tomorrow about our first video we're going to be creating several videos this week and next week that i'm going to ask that you include in your e-portfolio so probably the we'll talk about different ways that you can share your video. Some of you, I think, have already found out how to share your video uh, in your e-portfolios. So maybe we can also share some of your insights, your experiences, your advice that you have, things that worked well for you, sharing videos in your online space. We can, we can have those discussions tomorrow. And... We'll talk more specifically what we can talk about in our informal discussions in our teams. We can, we'll wait and talk about that uh, tomorrow. Okay, so the main thing is, though, that make sure that you can access this class for today. We'll have another class, as we always do in Notion, each, each day. Remember that the calendar is set up so that classes appear in each day, just as they've done in the past. So tomorrow we'll continue with this discussion and really focus on how we can complete this semester with a really good start with our e-portfolios that, that's really designed for you to add content to later. All right. So if you are uh, if you have some a few minutes, you might want to revisit your e-portfolio, maybe reacquaint yourself with the, your ePortfolio if you have not looked at it in a while. Think about some other products maybe that you've completed in other classes that you want to include. Remember, this is not just for this class. It's not for this just this semester or this year. This is a space that we encourage you to maintain throughout your BA so that when you finish the BA, you have an awesome ePortfolio with a lot of great content that really shows off what you know, what you can do, and your own personal and professional ethics. All right. So I think that's all we need to discuss at this point. Are there any questions, guys, about what we've talked about? Or if there are any questions that you have about vocabulary that we started kind of at the beginning of the class talking about certain keywords or phrases any comments teacher. or questions guys teacher yes um can i talk with you at the end of the class please sure okay mm -hmm. anybody have any questions or comments not teacher no, no. All right. Well, then I guess we'll stop there for uh, today. I'll stay online here. Um, I don't know, Paulina, if you want to talk here or if you want to talk privately, let me know. Um, here is okay. 
All right, so we'll go ahead and stop for everyone else. Uh, again, if anyone else has any questions, I'll stay online here for a few minutes. Um, but we'll stop there for today. I goes. I hope you guys have a good day, and uh, tomorrow we'll pick up where we left off uh, with uh, this task and working on your ePortfolio. All right, see you guys. Okay, teacher. Thank, thank you, teacher. Bye. See you. Thank, thank, thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. See you guys.